while stating that Guyana will not be intimidated by Venezuela's bluster, Foreign Affairs Minister Carl Greenwich has informed that Venezuelan military officials attempted to land a helicopter on deck of the ship conducting seismic operations. The ram from Tetis was forced to abandon its work on behalf of ExxonMobil after the invasion to ensure the safety of crew members. Seismic work within the Stabrook block were intercepted at 10.30 hours that same day by the Venezuelan Navy. A reckless attempt was made by the Venezuelans to land a helicopter on the deck of one of the vessels. The Ramford Tethys. Amid Venezuela's claims, it was clearly mentioned that Guyana has no interest in the Orinoco Delta and it is therefore misleading to claim that the Ramford Tethys was in that area. Greenwich called on Venezuela to withdraw its decree against Guyana's rights to explore its territory and also urged the country to cease military actions and join Guyana in submitting the territorial case to the International Court of Justice. Coordinates put out by Venezuela and Guyana were practically the same but the name of the location had suddenly changed. May I stress, therefore, that Guyana is aware of no incident occurring in the Orinoco Delta or its projection, much less an incident involving vessels having permission from the Guyana authorities to undertake seismic surveys there. ExxonMobil's local subsidiary had suspended the treaty seismic operations it started only a month ago in Guyana Stabroke block after the appearance and approach of Venezuelan military back in December. The vessel in question is the Ramform Tetis, which is owned by Petroleum and Geo Services and contracted by ExxonMobil to carry out tests and acquire seismic data. After the incident, the Caribbean Committee dubbed the act as a violation of the sovereign rights of Guyana under international law and poses as a threat to the country's economic development. Rupa Sinarain, The Evening News.